Hello, everybody. I hope all the artists are over here on this side. Artist call over here to the side. Um, I'm Jessica Brigoli. I am the curator of both New Nautical Nuances and New Bedford Works, which is the... <laughs> which together is the Seaport Art Walk. And we are here to support artists and the economic development of the city. And I would love to thank first our sponsors, which is the City of New Bedford, Mayor John Mitchell, the Port of New Bedford, Destination New Bedford, Sea Streak, uh, New Bedford Seaport Cultural District, CVPA, UMass and the Students, Fiber Optic Center, Bay Coast Bank, Willing History Alliance, Whaling City Sound, the New Bedford Economic Development Council, New Bedford Whaling Museum, and New Bedford Beautiful. And I'd like to give a special thank you to John Sylvia of Sea Streak, Marcus Cusick for helping with all the installations, and Jeff Steves from the Harbor Development Commission. It was kind of his idea to bring this all together, and I just helped ex execute it. And thank you to all of the artists. And thank you to the band Native Spaces. <laughs> and I would like to introduce all the artists and please save your applauses to the end. So I'd like to start with Donna Dodson, Colin Wetzel, uh, Matt Carrero, Brett Sylvia, Eric Lintola, Amanda Kralovic, Taylor Flynn, Rachel, I'm horrible with your last name. Angelo, <laughs> Jessica D. Medeiros, <laughs> Michelle Borges, um, <laughs> Jacqueline Luca, Justin Cefello, Lauren Savoya, and, and Alicia Duff. <laughs> and I would like to introduce the mayor of New Bedford. Mayor John Mitchell. Uh, so um, I want to tell you one thing tonight. So I I really like I really like going out to arts events. Uh, in my uh, current role as mayor, uh, for lots of reasons, but one of them is I don't have to put a suit on. And <laughs> in fact, it's discouraged. I would look so out of place in a suit. So this is great. I, don't, I can get away with it. I, I will tell you, by the way, I did wear my Kilburn Mills T-shirt. All right. So I'm 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 properly attired tonight. But um, I'm uh, I'm really this is really fun. Uh, we have uh, we we are a city that is rich in culture that has artistic roots that extend all the way back to the whaling days when that, yes we do yes we do I, we've got agreement on that but you know it's it is in fashion these days for cities to talk about uh, arts as leading to economic development and to building community and that's all true but a lot of cities try to superimpose it on places where it really hasn't existed in new bedford we're the real deal we we have been uh, a, a, a rich arts community for an awfully long time and what we've tried to do in the last few years uh, through government and through uh, more uh, particularly through our arts community is to fertilize what already exists to, 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 uh, to kick start it some more and this is just another example of it. Um, I am thrilled to be here tonight. This, you guys, I mean, just let's have another round of applause for all of our artists tonight. You know, we get um, the, the, I don't have to preach to you guys about the benefits uh, of having a, uh, a, having public art in, in nice places like our downtown and our, our waterfront. I mean, in addition to it being a, you know, an educational experience um, and to make us a more feel, look and feel like a more interesting place, it just makes things more fun, makes things more interesting, makes living here even, even better than it otherwise would be. And so um, it wouldn't happen without a great team effort. Uh, Jess Pajoli, I just want to say, you know, thanks so much for all that you do. Somehow you, you, you have the capacity of someone who is a, a first-rate organizer, uh, yet somehow you're also 
uh, have an artistic flair. It's an unusual combination, but you pull it off somehow. So let's have another round of applause for Jeff. Great job. We have, uh, there are lots of people to thank. I just wanted to double down on uh, the thanks to Jeff Steve, uh, our port director, who's usually in the business of uh, promoting uh, industrial activity on our waterfront, the commercial fishing industry and cargo and all the other great things that go on in our harbor, but also he contributed mightily to this. Uh, he couldn't be here tonight. Donna Roderick from the HDC is here on his behalf. Uh, I want to thank Emily Johns, by the way. Where's Emily? There's Emily for all the work that she's done in planting landscaping around our waterfront, uh, all on her spare time. And, um, you know, this is yet another reason to, uh, uh, another mark of the continuation of the knitting together of our downtown and our waterfront. Something that we as a city support, I know the city councilors, Naomi Carney um, and Dana Ribeiro, who are both here, huge supporters of the arts and the waterfront, are both, both big supporters of this effort. Let's have a round of applause for them. Thank you for coming tonight. But this is what you're witnessing here is really a transformation of the city. It really, we have a landlocked downtown, and we're, here's a verb, unlandlocking it by bringing it right down to the water and mixing in the arts with it. And, and, uh, and you know, there's more to come. We have our summer concert series coming up in the next, uh, next couple of months. People want to get down to the water, but they also want uh, the, their contact with the water and the experience here to be as rich as ever, and that's where the arts fit in. So. Great team effort, everybody. I just want to say, uh, let's let's keep it up. There's, there's always something next. The, the, the novelty of this exhibit uh, will really strike people if you haven't seen it already. And uh, there's more to come. Keep doing it. We're going to keep supporting it, this kind of stuff in New Bedford. Thanks, everyone. I've been thinking about it, and I'm not going to go to college. What are you saying? You've got to go to college. Well, they offered me a job, and I want to buy some new stuff, like uh, a new phone, a car. Son, college is much more important than a new car. No, Mom, it isn't. Yes, son, it is. No. Yes. No, Mom. Anyways, it's my decision. Your decision. Okay, well then decide what degree you're going to get because you will go to college. Their tomorrow depends on your words today. The Hispanic Scholarship Fund has the information you need to help your kids go to college and have a better future.